Hello and welcome to another video of the course. In this video, we are going to calculate the back EMF that is seen by the source. This is three phase inverter and this is a three phase BLDC motor. Actually, in this video, we are going to see what is the waveform of induced voltage when we run the machine as a generator like we did here in this simulation we rotated the rotor with a fixed speed and we calculated induced voltage in phase a phase b and phase c so let me copy an image and paste it here. In this circuit, uh, as you can see here, we have six switching zones and we connect the maximum induced back EMF to positive DC link and the minimum back EMF to the negative DC link. So when I want to calculate the back EMF that is seen by inverter, I should calculate the maximum back EMF and minimum back EMF and subtract from each other. For example, in this switching zone or in this switching zone, this is the maximum back EMF and this is the minimum back EMF. So the back EMF that is seen by inverter is actually EA, this one, minus EC, this one, this is EC. EA minus EC. So I write here in output variables, I write output variables I define let me delete this and this I write here back or let me write back EMF actually I can implement this function maximum of maximum of node voltage EA in, insert into expression. Let me copy this. Paste, comma, paste. So this is maximum of EA and EB. And then calculate the maximum of this function and EC. Actually, the maximum of these three numbers. I copy this minus minimum of minimum and done. So now if I report from create transient report, I can report this output variable back MF as a function of time new report so you can see the voltage induced voltage that is seen by the source so let me change the scale the y scale of this figure i click on y axis and from scaling minimum value i select I set it as zero, so you can see the waveform here. As you can see here, we have six switching zones. If I reduce the time step, you can see a more a smooth function here. Actually, if I increase this number to reduce time step, for example, 100. 
and let me clean up previous solutions and rerun the simulation again. So the simulation is running and you can see this waveform and induced voltage in phase A, phase B and phase C. So I plotted this function, this output variable as a function of time. So if I here report this function, this variable as a function of position, rotor position, let me select x axis, position, moving one dot position, new report, IKMF, scaling, zero. So, as you can see here, the every switching zone is around, we can, we can add marker and calculate. Recent, add marker, I add one marker here. Actually, we should add one marker here and one marker here. Marker two. So you can see the difference between X one and X two of these two marker. This is mechanical angle, and we can change it to electric angle. If we calculate electric angle, we should calculate sixty degrees, right? Actually. Each of these switching zones is 60 electrical degree that you can calculate it as a practice. Okay. So this is important. This waveform is important. If I calculate the maximum value of this function there is characteristic recent maximum the maximum value is 437 what is the supply voltage the supply voltage is 500 volts so actually we are in motor mode motor operation right so anyway, in this video, just I wanted to explain you how we can calculate this back EMF that is important in our analytic design, in our calculations. So this maximum value and how much is the difference between the DC link and the maximum value of this function. Anyway, okay, so I think it's enough for this video and let's continue in the next video. Thanks for watching.